according to a report from the Institute for Diversity and Ethics in Sport, MLB, Major League Baseball, has its smallest percentage of black players since 1991. This lack of representation is concerning given the significant role black players have played in baseball's history. I'll talk about what this means for America's so-called pastime. That's coming up. This is KRT, Critical Race Theory. It's not the one they teach in law school, but the one banned in public schools. Last year, there were no American-born black players in the World Series for the first time since 1950. Black American baseball players were only 7.2% of players on opening day in 2022. Now, there are several existing theories to explain the lack of U.S.-born players in Major League Baseball. That includes hardly no blacks in management and ownership, especially ownership, and economic advantages of sourcing players from Latin America. That keeps the payroll down. And finally, the whiteness of college baseball. You're not going to get on a college baseball team unless you played in high school and most black high schools don't have baseball. And finally, the cost of training and travel. But Dusty Baker, a former player and manager, suggested that high entry fees for sports camps also play a role. Some argue that structural socioeconomic issues are not a sufficient explanation given MLB's record revenue and the high amount spent on contracts. MLB celebrated Jackie Robinson's breaking of the color barrier, but it was only a small part of the larger civil rights movement. Today's lack of black American players in MLB has not sparked a collective effort and is treated as a result of unfortunate circumstances. Back in 1989, former major leaguer John Young formed RBI, also known as Revising Baseball in Inner Cities, which MLB took over in 1991. Today, MLB and USA Baseball host something called the Dream Series during ML Key Weekend. It's an event that develops the pitching and catching skills of elite, mostly black players, while affording them a platform to perform for scouts. But while the Dream Series is less than a decade old, RBI has been run by MLB for 32 years, which means the league identified the dearth of black players decades ago and hasn't cared enough about it to fix it. Baseball seems not to need American-born blacks to thrive, and the league is predominated by white men at the ownership, management, and player levels. Despite this, baseball remains a major televised event with the World Series averaging 11.78 million viewers on Fox, similar to other major events like the NBA Finals. Baseball became popular in America after Civil War soldiers played it. However, the Sports Nationalist Project has always been associated with whiteness despite America being diverse. Black boys dream of fame, but baseball's lack of black heroes makes it less attractive compared to other sports. The necessary training is harder to obtain and MLB appears to care little for black culture. The league has not done enough to develop black stars and promote their blackness as an essential part of the game. The reasons for low African-American participation in baseball are complex and can be attributed to socioeconomic factors, alternative entertainment options, and the lure of the NBA and NFL. The traditional passing down of baseball knowledge from father to son is challenged by the low percentage of two-parent households in black communities. The absence of black players on MLB rosters in major cities highlights the sport's waning popularity in the black community. Baseball continues to push this issue to the front burner because it knows it is missing out on the most valuable product in all of sports the black athlete. This has been Critical Race Theory. Thanks for checking in. Please like and subscribe and share this video with your friends and family. I'll see you next time.